Okay, so today we're going to um, weave the beads onto our warped loom. So you can take a length of string, um, the string from your kit. It doesn't matter, I mean, I would make it fairly long, but if you run out of string, you're just going to tie a knot onto a new piece and keep going. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is just knot one end onto the last string on one end of your loom here. I'm just gonna tie it twice. We just want it to stay in place. And that's it, you can cut off that tail if you want to. And then on the other end of the string, you're gonna put this through your needle. Okay, if your needle is too small and you can't see it, um, that's what this guy's for. So this guy, you poke through the eye of your needle and then weave your string through that bigger hole that's much easier to see through or to see and put through. Um, and then you pull it back through your needle. Okay. If you just want to do that on your own, that's just fine too. And then actually weaving the beads is pretty easy. So like I said, you're going to start with one row. If you can put something, you know, on your paper to kind of show you where you're working, you can. So I'm working with this first row right here. This has nine blue beads. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just kidding. Ten blue beads one white bead, because yellow is white on mine, and then two pink beads, I'm gonna use red ones. So I'm just gonna put 10 blue beads onto my string. There's three. nine and ten and then my white bead and then my two red beads you just want them in order now see since i had them all separated how easy that was if you have them separated it does save you a lot of work on this step almost lost my string there um and then you're just going to pull your string underneath the loom <laughs> and you're gonna push those beads up in between each string. So you want one bead in between each of the strings. And then you're just gonna take your needle and make sure that you're putting pressure upwards as you're sliding your needle through there so that you're staying above the string, okay? So we're really just kind of sewing that into place. You're going under the whole way and then just pulling back through. If you didn't get on top of the strings, it'll be a dropped bead and you'll kind of notice that right away. But these all look pretty good. Um, also, once we have more rows, it'll stay more stable. So again, my second row then, I'm doing nine blue beads, one white bead and three red ones. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just collecting all my beads in the order that they go in. And getting them on the string. And then my white bead, and then my three red beads. And we're gonna go under our whole loom, just underneath it, we're not weaving or anything. <laughs> Pulling the string tight, and then we're gonna put each bead in between the string next to it. And then you're just gonna bring your needle back through, making sure to stay above the string. Oh, 
oops, and then just pull it through. Okay, and then you can just push them gently so they line up correctly. And there you have it, that's two rows, and you just keep repeating that until you're done with your whole pattern. Do you wanna see that up close? Can you? There we go. So you can see how that's getting started. Okay, and keep going until you're done.